Hey guys, it's Devor from Tennis House. I'm here with Jeff. What are we gonna do, Jeff? What are we gonna talk about today? Well, Devor's lesson of the day is the volley. The volley. So the volley is so important. We're gonna do three important things, three tips today on the volleys, and we're gonna show you how Jeff is gonna hit them later. Jeff, what is for you the most important thing? Three most important things for a good volley. Well, the first thing is the setup with a good approach shot. But once you're at the net, the way that I was taught by a woman who taught my brother and I when we were young, we'd spend half of our lesson if we learned how to hit the ball at the net volleying. And what she taught us, and I still do it today, I know it's not what everybody teaches, she taught us to be one racket away from the net. And her logic was is because you want to step into the ball at either 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock, playing up to forehand or backhand volley. And her logic was you take the net out of play. So that's the first key. You've eliminated the net because you're standing so close, you're not going to get hit. Now, the issue is, can they lob over you? And obviously they can, but if you have a good approach, that's not something that's probably going to cost you. And if it's a lob, you probably can get back and still play the point. Not everyone, but... So, Jeff, talking about the, the lob and closing in. So, it's closer you to the net. What happens with the angles? So well, the other thing is it creates, it opens up more angles on the court. Um, I think at my level, the 4 0, not that good. People try to hit deep mm -hmm. all the time. And if you're five, six, seven feet away from the net, mm -hmm. your angle it becomes much more difficult to achieve for a short volley. Like if you watch Nadal when he comes to the net, I think he's got one of the best volleys on tour, but he doesn't come to the net very often. It's almost like a lost art. But when you watch him, it's like a one shot and done where he hits a sharp angle with a lot of slice on it where it dies, but it's sharp going towards the sidelines. He doesn't hit it necessarily deep, but that's the idea. You use the whole court, you open it up and you can win the point right away with that. That's a great point. So that what, that's what a lot of recreational players do wrong. Not just like, it doesn't matter what age, like le players level two, five, three, oh, three, five, even four O's, they hit deep back, but their volley doesn't look like a pro volley, right? So if the pros would really volley hard, it would be hard to lob or even reach it, right? right? So we, the normal person cannot do that. So that's what you said. You have to learn to hit drop volleys and open the court up with your volleys. That's, a, that's, a, that's an important point. The third thing to me is that, you know, the way that I was taught doesn't mean it's the way that he would teach me now. But when you step into the ball, you always want your racket and ready position up in front of you with your hand up so that you can just open up the, the racket and use a continental grip because it's the that way you don't have to change grips while you're doing it. It's much easier to do. You've already got the cut for the forehand or the backhand slice with the volley. And the other thing that I see a lot of people that I play against do is they swing at the ball. And all it is, it's a punch. So that gives you more control because it's a short stroke. The force from the individual shot to you gives you all the speed you need. You don't need to hit it hard to win the point. The object's to hit it where they're not. So if you can hit a drop shot, a sharp angle, especially being at the net, the angles open up dramatically. Uh, you have a much better chance of winning the point and closing it out right away. And then what Jeff means with punch is like, you know, because in the internet, people, when they talk about punch, it's not like punching like this. Right. It's like having a continental grip and what are you hitting and freezing with the right. You know, it's like we, some people say punch. Uh, it's, it's important to, to, to clarify that. So loading the outside leg, hit and freeze. And it's, that, almost like cro it's almost like hitting a croquet ball where you hit it and it stops. Yes. You know, it's just a quick, short, short movement. Yes, because many recreational players over they over swing right so now what we're going to do is we're going to show a little like a little warm-up we're going to go i just want to show you how jeff hits the ball a little bit like a few volleys and then we're going to show you some some drills we're doing on court so stay with us and uh yeah let's get straight to it all right guys so one more thing jeff had to say about the volley what you mentioned earlier so we can actually visualize it jeff what is that well, to hit a sharp angle shot from here, yep. first of all, the net is in play. Yep. You have to be able to get it over the net, but hit it short so your opponent gets carried out of the court. Otherwise, what you see from where I am, a short guy, my best shot for percentages would be beyond the service line. So it's kind of hard to hit a ball like that off yep. of a volley yep. when the ball's coming at you. But if you're up at the net and yep. they hit it, Yes, of course. It's much easier. You have much more control. Yeah, so the preparation is important that you don't get lobbed. So you have Correct. to really prepare the points so good 
that you can be, that you can be that close to the. This net. is almost like a lost art, to be honest with you. Yeah. The distance to the net. So, so how do you judge that? So okay. What, how do you well, you got to remember your step is either to eleven or one or one o'clock, yep. depending on your left hand or right hand, forehand or backhand. So when you step, Touching. that's the distance because now my racket's out in front of me. You really have to, you know, you could still hit it in the net if it's a low ball, but you're really taking it completely out of play by doing it this way. Okay. All right, guys. So that's it. So we just about like I'm a little bit further away, so I have a little bit more time to react. We just warm up, Jeff. Here we go. You're just going to do like a few warm ups. Here we go. We're always moving. We're always ready. Here we go. That's always good, guys. When you start with the players, you warm up. Oh, here we go. We got too excited. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> And then you can let your student obviously hit a few balls after you rally a few to the side. So that's another thing. See, here we go. We keep it in play. Good. Good job. Here we go. Solid. Here we go. Come on. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Here we go. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So the next thing we like to do, we volley. But after each volley, we move back. And once we get to the service line, we go from defending to being aggressive again on those volleys. All, all right, right. Here, we here we go, Jeff. So we start here. Good, here we go. We're defending, right? More. Here we go, defense. And then we're aggressive. We're coming in, come in, both of us. And now we're soft, now we're soft again. Good, good. That teaches you. Ah. Good. We have to contact the ball in front of us and we shuffle to the side and back. Here we go, Jeff. So this is good for the hands. Yeah, it can bounce. Here we go. If it bounces, we do it. Here we go. Try to catch it in front. Good. Here we go. You can do that day and night. Here we go. And that teaches your hands. And oh! Here we go. Same. And I go. Good. Here we go. Catch it and send it back. And that short, so you catch it and send it back. Good. And if you don't have the racket in the right racket angle, the face here, it's going to be hard to get it back. That's it. That was better. And again, and you send it back. Good. Very good. Very good for the touch. Here we go. Especially you do those low volleys. Yes. This is it. Here we go. Low, good. See, now we got it. Awesome for the touch. And you just send it back. And why this is so important is because you catch it. And on the low volley, you're not hitting it. You, you pop it a little bit soft <laughs> over. There we go. That was good. That was another great drill for the volleys. When the ball comes, we call this control volley. So you just pop it up to yourself one time, two times, make it fun, and then you send it back. Make sure you have a continental grip. You can pop it up to yourself and back. See, that's the most basic form. Good. Here we go. Let's see Jeff and I. You like doing that? Here we go. Yeah. And now we can do twice and then you send it back so you have this continental grip you can go from forehand to back into forehand now you can be creative yeah see whatever we want to do so we work on the continental yes we work on the continental grip and then obviously you can make it as much fun as you want to with that drill super great drill for the hands did we talk about that? so the first volley goes somewhere here so on that volley even if let's say you get it like medium height on those balls, the motion goes more forward, right? So you can hit down here because you're going to hit it in the net. So as further you're away from the net, as more the motion goes forward, like that. If you get closer to the net and you're here, you don't want to go forward because you're going to hit out. Then you hit down. And then when you hit down, you can apply as well the angle. So, Jeff, what we're going to do is you get the first volley on that forehand side. Move a little bit. Yeah. So... You just hit a nice cross court deep volley. You just go linear with the motion a little bit more. And the second one, you drop short with a nice angle, but you hit more down. Here we go. Good. And then you come up to the net. And this one, you, yes, you angle. You can even angle a little bit more and hit more down. Perfect. This one goes forward. This one goes down more. Here we go. And cut it a little bit more. Too much swing. Yeah. Here we go. And down more. Ouch, and even on. more down. You usually do that. Yeah, here we go. Bad. Forward. And this one goes down and cuts. Here we go. That's it. Remember, when you are standing on a service line, the motion goes more forward. So keep the ball deep and penetrate it. And if you get closer, you can hit more down on that. So, Jeff, show us. 
forward. Good. And then you come in and more downwards. Good. Here we go. And again. Go cross court again. Here we go. Good. You come in and down on that ball. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're in the rhythm again. So he hits the first ball forward. Second one, he hits more down, obviously, right? As closer you get to the net, as more you can hit down on those volleys. Good job. Per oh. Forward. And then you hit down on it. That's it. And just show us a little bit touch now on the second one. Not hard. You just soften it out, okay? So you can vary it. And you can tell your student to be soft and hit softer. Here we go. He was right there. And again, forward. And on the second one, he hits it soft. Yes. It's a modern game. You have a lot of topspin, right? So how you can um, show the topspin and make it harder for the net players if you feed with the ball and hit the ground on your, on your side first. It creates a, a massive amount of topspin. And then the ball comes quicker to you, right. right, Jeff? So you need to be ready. So if the players are not ready and they hit always late, this is a great drill to make them alert and ready. So I put the top spin on there, and he has to he has to be right right there. Here we go. I can keep it lower. You see, it's not easy. Here we go. Keep it lower. It has a lot of spin on there, so he has to make sure he's right there. Perfect. Here we go. Oh, yeah. And the back and side as well, Jeff. So if you spin it like this, the player is going to have a harder volley because the amount of top spin is, is more. He felt it, huh? You had to be ready for yeah. that. Jeff, I think that was great, you know, give a little insight of the volleys. And I think your points are so valid. Like, as he said earlier, keeping the ball in front of you, continental grip, you know, getting closer to the net. And, you know, when people say, why, but they can lob me, it's all about how you prepare and get to the net. If you prepare really well, you put them out of balance, position and strike zone, they cannot lob you, right? So. Right. So all those things are super important. And one of the most important things for recreational tennis is the not like swinging swing. too much, right? So right. swing doesn't work. No. Nope. Eyes can't get this big. Aim small, miss small. Here we go. Thank you, Jeff. Everybody.